wearing masks and social distancing, House lawmakers approve a new batch of stimulus funds. Boeing's troubled 737 MAX is unlikely to win approval to fly again until at least late summer. Ramadan in the time of social distancing and lockdowns. Millions of Muslims around the world celebrate the start of the holy month. I'm Jason Bellini with the latest reporting from the Wall Street Journal on the coronavirus crisis. Lawmakers donned masks and were split into small groups in the sanitized House chamber to vote on a nearly $500 billion aid package for small businesses and hospitals. The bill is passed. The second infusion of funds for small business relief will help some of the nearly 4.4 million Americans who filed for unemployment benefits last week, bringing total claims to a record 26 million. Today was an historic day for us to once again pass our now fourth bipartisan legislation to address the coronavirus crisis. We're very pleased with the vote, 388 to 5. The president is expected to sign the bill today. Meanwhile, the Treasury Department is asking publicly traded companies to repay loans they received from the first stimulus package intended to help small businesses. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse and Shake Shack said they would return funds immediately. We exclusively report that the pandemic is expected to prolong regulatory approvals for Boeing's 737 MAX until at least late summer, adding to the plane maker's financial strain. Federal Aviation Administration employees who approve passenger planes have been hampered by stay-at-home orders and travel bans have hindered flight tests for foreign pilots. The troubled jet has been grounded since March of 2019, following two deadly crashes linked to a faulty flight control system. The holy month of Ramadan started Thursday for millions of Muslims. While many are observing it under strict lockdown and praying online, people in some countries gathered to celebrate the start of the 30-day period of fasting during daylight hours. In Pakistan, Prime Minister Imran Khan allowed mosques to host prayers as long as a number of social distancing and hygiene measures are enforced. But questions remain over how the measures will be implemented, and doctors have warned of the risks of coronavirus spreading with big gatherings.